Hey everyone, Jake and Paula back again with another video and I'm back again as the recorder in this video. In today's video, Paula, raising capital. Yes, yeah, so this is a very important aspect of real estate investing. Uh, no matter how much money you have, you will always need more as you grow. It's just, it's inevitable. Um, I am going to try and keep this short. I have a lot of points that I want to touch on because this is a very important part of real estate investing. So I'm sure you've heard before the old saying like, oh, if you have a good deal, the money will come. Well, it's not quite that easy. You do have to work at it a little bit. For sure. So, so who do you want to talk to first? You want to first? reach out to people who know, like, and trust you. So that would be friends, family members. You can keep going on. Um, okay. So that just kind of eliminates the whole needing to establish who you are and you already have relationships there. So you cannot skip this step. You know, you, I don't think a lot of people are afraid to say like, okay, I'm investing in real estate. You need to get rid of your secret identity, own it. You're investing in real estate and let everyone know. Um, so yeah, that's you good there. Uh, I kind of, I okay. didn't write everything. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, good, so. good. Okay. And another thing is you're going to want to make a list of everyone, you know, just make a list of everyone, you know, um, you know, you might not think that they have money. It's okay. Just make a list of everyone, you know, and you can reach out to them and it doesn't have to be like a cold call, phone call. I mean, like I wouldn't do that. And yeah. if someone called me randomly out of the blue, I'm going to be like, eh, no, but just start working on these relationships with people again, like there's Facebook, send them a message, be like, you know, Merry Christmas or whatever. And just start, start talking to people. Mm -hmm. Um, you also want to share your success. So, you know, if you've done a flip or a renovation recently, post those pictures, post the before and after pictures, show people that you know what you're doing. I think, um, yeah, like social like media, yeah, outlets like that. Yeah, yeah, get get that stuff out there. It, it shows um, what you're doing. It makes you credible. You know what you're doing. You know, if someone's going to invest with you, like this is what you're gonna do with their money. So, a uh, one big thing, a big change is you have to change your mindset. It's huge, yeah. You are not asking for a handout. You are not asking for you know a loan. I mean, you are asking for a loan, but it's different. Like you are the prize you're creating these opportunities and you're providing an opportunity for someone to make more money and they're doing it through you. So just try to remember that it's not a handout. Like for that's sure. the big thing. It's yeah. you're not asking for a handout. There's definitely way more money out there than there is opportunity. Exactly. So like, for instance, if you have a hundred, someone has a hundred thousand dollars sitting idle or it could be on a line of credit or I don't even bank, know, right? sitting in yeah. the bank. Like there's a lot of people who have a lot of equity or a lot of money just sitting in the bank you can give them an opportunity to make money. If it's just sitting in the bank, they're losing money every 100%. every month because 100%. inflation is more than the interest they're earning on that money. So, you know, they have $100,000, they lend it to you at 12%, they're making a um, thousand bucks a month, every month. Like that's- That's good math. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah, it was an easy one. Another thing is uh, you wanna point out that they can take advantage of investing in real estate without time or no skill yep. or any of that stuff. For a lot sure. of people want to invest in real estate, but they don't want to be landlords. And, and they don't know how to get started or what to do. Yeah, right? I've had so many people say to me like, oh, I'm not handy. I would love to invest in real estate, but I, I can't pick up a hammer. Don't, mm -hmm. just lend your money. For sure. Like that's the best, easiest yep. way Absolutely. to do it. So when you're talking to potential lenders, there are a few things that you're going to want to address. Um, you're going to want to talk to them in like everyday terms. So like, what is it that you're asking for? You know, like just don't use, you know, burr or, um, like acronyms. And, I got a hunch down here a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. Um, like don't just use everyday terms. You have to understand that they're not immersed in this world. Like we are, um, they're going to want to know like, how much do you need? Tell them the whole amount. If you need 250,000, say 250,000. If you're thinking, oh, they might have 50. Don't just ask for 50 because you don't know what they have. Tell them 250,000. That's what I need. Um, how much will I make? Simplify this. Don't put into like, oh, this is going to be, you know, a whatever percent ROI and your cash on cash return is going to be this, blah, blah, blah. The majority of people don't care about that stuff. If you say, I'm going to pay you 12% interest, hmm, that sounds good. And if you get someone who wants all the, you know, nitty gritty details, you can do that too. For sure. Yeah. But you don't need to bombard everyone with all that stuff. Um, another thing you're going to want to address, like how do they get that money back and when do they get that money back? Um, Combine that, how and when, yeah. Yeah, they want to know like, okay, you're going to get that back when I refinance this property in eight months or, you know, 12 months, whatever, like 
and be conservative with your time. If you think you're gonna do a flip and have it, you know, get their money back in six months, what if your renovation goes a month longer? What if closing is 90 days instead of 60 days that yeah. you, you guessed? Or, you know, what if you takes a month before you can sell it? There's all these factors. So just always give them, give yourself a buffer. Don't Absolutely. put that added stress yeah. on yourself. Just be open and upfront. Exactly. And then one thing that you're gonna to wanna to address is, you know, what happens to my money if something happens to you? So if you can be prepared to answer this, um, it just shows that you're, you know, you're thinking ahead, you've planned ahead, you know exactly what you're doing with your money, how you're gonna use it, and what happens if something happens to you. Um, so that's something I encourage you to kind of figure out, you know, how you're going to. What's so funny? I'm trying to bend over here. Well, so tell me uh, Yeah, just kind of figure that out. So For sure. we've been asked that a lot. We we have been asked that a lot, and you know, the first time when we were asked, it kind of throw you off guard because you're like, I, I don't, I don't know, yeah. I didn't. But you definitely gotta figure that out. You need so. to figure that out. So, and this is all about creating relationships. Yep. You build these relationships, people will have more money to lend you in the future. So just, yeah, be a good person, yep. do good Absolutely. things, and uh, work on building those relationships. For sure. So, I know I talked a lot and really fast. I did talk a whole lot. Uh, so let us know if you like that better or not. <laughs> kind of thinking, uh, I'm getting pushed aside here. So. There's a lot of really good points and raising capital is the biggest Part of our business. I mean, finding sure. deals is also big, but yeah. you know, if we find deals and we don't have money, those deals are worthless. So yeah, right. like, might as well add my two cents here. Yeah. So good old step in. Money, money people, deal. people, deal. If you don't have one of these things in the triangle, you will not succeed. So. Awesome. Right. Thanks for watching. Bye.